starts with one Who sees a child in need and asks a friend How many can we feed and now there's two A power so much greater than we knew Cause when two or more are gathered Together, 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 together we can change Welcome everyone and welcome to this very special holiday episode where uh, joining me shortly will be Scott Friedman uh, and I have no idea where Scott is today. Scott, uh, where, where in the world is Scott Friedman this this uh, fine Monday morning? Pagatai, Philippines. Philippines, all right. So joining me is Scott Friedman and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this special uh, session called the Malaysia Leadership Summit, uh, which is upcoming uh, on June 20th, 2023. Um Couple, couple of maybe six, eight, six, seven weeks away, Scott. Um, but more interestingly, I think we've got some fantastic guests who's joining us. Uh, Andrea Fernandez from uh, MSRI and Janice Stanfield, uh, ever loving, and we'll see whether she'll be strumming a song for us or we'll we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. So, Scott, uh, tell us a bit about uh, the Malaysia Leadership Summit and what's in store for us. Well, from the Together We Can Change the World perspective, this is our twenty third tour. And we've been working with Leaderonomics and Roshan Theron for how many of the, let's see, probably, gosh, the last 10 years, maybe? Since 2013, uh, the, I think. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, almost so, 10 years uh, now. Anyway, so it's great. To, uh, every year we bring a, a group of esteemed professional speakers from around the world to Malaysia. And uh, I am so excited about the group that is coming this June. We'll be uh, together June 20th. Our, our model is that... Uh, Speakers pay their own way to come over. They have to do a fundraiser for $1,500 uh, a piece at least. And that money uh, goes to our different causes around the region. But when we're in Malaysia and, and what we're raising money for here today that we'll hear more about is uh, for MSRI and their, their refugee school there. And uh, we are, are very fortunate to have Andrea, the director of that school, uh, that we'll talk to in a little while here. So, um, but yeah, so just, just some great speakers uh, that we're using the breakthrough... Yep theme defining success in a brand new world so um it's gonna and, be, and we've uh, got and we've got a, a ton of fantastic speakers right i mean we've got uh you know i'm just splashing a few of their names justin cohen uh, w mitchell uh, uh jean marie uh who's who's coming down uh, all these guys are coming down from from the us and and we can we can uh, share you links where you can get access to uh seeing these speakers tell us a bit about uh some of these speakers scott i mean justin cohen from south africa i mean he's he's kind of a celebrity there and he's gonna be coming out here and he's taking a uh he's gonna kick off our breakthrough session right um, uh, talk us through a little bit of some of the insights that we can get from some of these speakers. And, and, and I, I don't know, I mean, having met Mitchell, I mean, this guy is unbelievably inspirational, right? Uh, so, so talk us through that a little bit. You're doing a pretty good job with yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, Justin just finished his uh, PhD in transformational leadership, wrote a book called Breakthrough, and, and, and it just seems so appropriate where we are right now with uh, the war on talent around the world never have has, has it been greater? Uh, how do you attract good talent, given that we are in a global workplace these days? Uh, how do you attract and retain uh, with the, the whole emotional wellness piece? I mean, how do you take care of your people today? So from an employee experience standpoint, a customer experience standpoint, how do you deal with change? Uh, Jean Marie is a, is a rock star at, uh, at, at developing trust in, in relationships and in a, in a team, in a, in a workplace, psychological safety, the work that Google does. Jean Maria is so wonderful with, with that. Uh, um, but I'm, I'm excited about all our speakers, but I, 
to have Mitchell back in Malaysia, Mitchell, uh, gosh, it's Mitchell was one of the keynote speakers of the Global Speaker Summit in Singapore in 2004, 2005. Then he came over to Malaysia a few years later, hasn't been back since. Uh, Mitchell has an amazing story. Tony Robbins talks about him in all of his programs. Uh, Mitchell's been through two horrendous accidents. He has a program called It's Not What Happens to You, It's What You Do About It. And it's really amazing after what he's been through, how he has turned his life into doing good and challenging others to overcome whatever situations they may be in. So probably one of the best speakers I've ever heard, most inspirational speakers on dealing with change in your life. And God knows that we are all going through a lot of change in our lives. I'm excited to hear Frank Furness because Frank is a has become a rock star in chat GBT and really how AI is going to change the landscape, not only of the workplace, but our lives. So Frank is going to get into that a bit and um, will, uh, I think, going to shock us a little bit about what, what's in store there. Um, let's see who else is on our list. Stan Phelps has written, gosh, I think six or seven books now. Uh, he's an employee experience expert uh, as well as a customer experience and expert and talks about how to uh how to manage generational teams in yeah. the workplace so um yeah. uh, and, and and there's there's a you know there's some local speakers i mean that's nora manaf uh, from maybang i mean she's gonna uh, probably enlighten us a little bit uh, bring some contextualization uh, to some of the local scenes i think john Lau, who's a, a great uh, one of the one of the top speakers uh, in the world i guess uh, one, of the one uh, he's just telling me you know he got he got uh, uh, nominated as one of the big gurus uh, of 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 of, uh, of the world, I think, right? Um, yeah, I think in, in leadership. Uh, yeah, leadership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that right? Um, so, so uh, not not very sure. Uh, I see James uh, uh, Duty saying exactly mud might stick, but only if you allow it. Uh, uh, I guess this is an insight. <laughs> You're the person that can choose. Um, <laughs> I think reference to you, Scott. Uh, but but let let me let me let me share a little bit of what happened last year because I think. Um, you know, a short little highlight of what happened last year um, in the Malaysia Leaders Summit. It's, a, it's an incredible event. Um, and the best part of the event, right, is 100% of all proceeds, right, uh, are given to charity. And we'll talk a little bit about one of the, the biggest recipients last year uh, uh, who received uh, uh, funds from this uh, event. Uh, uh, I think more than 60 over 1,000 ringgit uh, was uh, uh, given to this charity. So we'll talk to MSR in a bit. But in the meantime, let's just have a quick preview of what happened last year. Of the session itself is way different from other conferences. You start with juggling, but then when it comes to the flow of the event itself, you we'll start with I think a lighter topic, and subsequently into business topics like how do you pitch sales. All right, so so far um, I'm really glad that MLS provided us with a lot of networking sessions where we could talk to both different participants as well as speakers. Language can cause a lot of harm if not used correctly, but if used correctly, I believe it can create team building, uh, teamwork, and so on. When you put clarity as a lens to everything that is going on, I think it really makes a big difference.
feel that energy, you feel how you can change things in organizations in the world and just with a simple mindset shift. It's just wow. All right, there you go. We have uh, the, the Malaysia Leisure Summit last year. And, you know, joining, I, I, you know, we'd like to bring Jenna Stanfield into the conversation. Jenna, welcome welcome to, to our show. And I'm also going to introduce Andrea Fernandez. Uh, Andrea, welcome. Uh, Andrea's from MSRI or, or what we call the Sahabat School, right? Uh, I think, uh, or uh, Sahabat School, right? Uh, MSRI, yeah, MSRI School. Yeah, and and both, both of you guys, uh, Jenna and Andrea, you're involved somewhat. I mean, Andrea, you run... A couple of uh, very interesting programs at, at MSRI, uh, you know, including your film school and, and other little projects. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, MSRI, and I think more interestingly, uh, how the funds uh, that have come in uh, that was raised from Malaysia Leadership Summit last year uh, has been an impact to your school and your organization. Okay, so uh, we run a school uh, that has about uh, 500 students enrolled this year, uh, and enrollment is still going on. And at school, we teach them, uh, of course, there's uh, academics. We have uh, an early childhood program, a primary school program, and a secondary school program. We also have the computer lab uh, that is thanks to Together We Can Change the World. Uh, we are running right now, where we teach uh, students how to code, um, how to build websites, uh, in the hope that one day uh, they will acquire skills that will enable them to stay on in school. Because... Uh, as you know, the plight of many refugees here in Malaysia, they can't work, they can't access formal uh, working uh, or jobs uh, to sustain their families. So it's always working in an informal setting. And many uh, parents tend to like depend on their kids to earn as well, because kids, you know, they're young, they learn fast, they learn to speak English quickly and they become more marketable. So many kids tend to drop out of school and start to work. So. For many years now, the challenge has been to keep them in school, okay? And uh, refugees also can't access uh, education and health care, proper affordable health care. So ours is an, uh, um, a kind of a learning centre, uh, which we operate uh, uh, together with our partners at UNHCR and also our other donors and founders. Now, um, the, the idea of the school is actually to help students be in an education environment uh, and learn skills uh, until they resettle. But of course, it takes some years before that happens. Uh, and uh, many of our students have been here for quite some time. So the funds that we got from you guys last year helped us uh, upgrade our library uh, in uh, MSRI. Uh, work is underway and uh, it will be ready when you guys come down in June. Uh, you can have a look. <laughs> how it's going uh work is uh i uh yeah we've, we've done most of it uh but uh a lot of work is going to happen in the next two weeks because we had to clear a lot of stuff and all that so yeah it's looking good uh and i hope to see all of you uh here in june yeah. fantastic and and uh you know part part of the uh the the the, the appeal of the malaysia Leisure summit is all these global speakers they come down to malaysia um and 100% of all proceeds, right? 100% of net proceeds are donated uh, back to different Malaysian charities. Um, and MSRI last year being the uh, probably the, the biggest recipient of uh, uh, of the uh, proceeds that, that came out of uh, uh, the, the. So when you buy a ticket, uh, and 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 uh, you can you can uh, uh, we'll send you, you we will send you information on how you can get a ticket. Uh, if you get a ticket, 100% uh, of that uh, will be donated to various different charities. So uh, we've got some great strategic partners. Um, like uh, and I'll, I'll walk you. I'll, I'll walk through the, the the whole piece in a bit. Uh, but but maybe very quickly, uh, just a very you know to add a bit of context to the Malaysia Leadership Summit. Um, you know, it's June twentieth. Uh, it's happening at the Sitia Convention Center in Sitia Alam. Uh, it's a partnership with Together We Change the World, Leadernomics, Global Leadership Network, and a number of other organizations, including Infin, who's come together. There's uh, no one. That it's 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 again hundred percent, including the speakers. Right? They they don't get paid. Uh, they actually donate their time, their energy, and, and in fact, they fly down at their own cost. Uh, so it's, it's, it's this amazing initiative. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, a, it's a very powerful event. We've seen it in, since 2013 when we had it in Bank Negara. Uh, and most recently, the last couple of uh, uh, sessions were, were in uh, uh, Satya Convention Center. And, and our great partner, SP Satya, you know, we want to thank them for 
continue to give us the space. Um, so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful partners that we have to enable us to uh, enable this 100% of proceeds to be given. Um, we have some fantastic, you know, great agenda. This year's breakthrough, um, the, you know, looking at the future of work, looking at how you can break through in your personal life, looking at how you can understand different breakthroughs in different parts, whether you're a salesperson, whether you're a leader, uh, and, 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 and shifting, shifting your mindset. Uh, so different, different parts to it. Some great speakers that are coming, coming over. Uh, again, a great venue. It's a great place to network. I mean, we, we always have at least 500, maybe 500 something people that come in, um, you know, business leaders, uh, NGO leaders, there's uh, SME leaders. I mean, all these guys, a great opportunity to meet people, to network. And I think that's one of the biggest appeal, uh, some great lunches, uh, sessions. There's some great uh, 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 opportunity for people to connect with each other. Um, and you know, if you if you are looking for special tickets, uh, uh, bulk tickets, you know, contact info at Leadernomics, and we should be able to get you that. And so, so that's a little bit about uh, the Malaysia Leadership Summit. Um, and and, um, and you, just to give you a sense uh, of what it is, um, Jenna, tell us a bit about your experience. In the, the, you know, you've been in almost every summit so far. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your experiences. What's amazing to me about these leadership summits is the level of leaders that are attracted to this. So the people in the audience are leaders in their industry, in their companies, in their business. So the people that you're talking to next to when you're doing activities, they're people you can network with and learn from. And it's so inspiring that, that people come. And then they're also giving back because there, a lot of people don't realize there are 200,000 refugees in Malaysia. 200,000 refugees. Nobody wants kids growing up without an education. So that's what MSRI does, Malaysia Social Research Association. And when I came to start this call, it was very quiet in this public place at this hotel where I am. And suddenly every child has come here. So I'm going to turn it over to someone else until it gets quiet again. <laughs> no, that's that, that's perfectly fine, Jenna. So a couple of, couple of folks, Becky, welcome to the show. Uh, Siobhan, uh, great to see. Uh, Scott and Jenna, you know, lots of comments coming in. Uh, uh, we see uh, uh, Mushrif, uh, welcome also. Good morning to you guys. And Anne. Uh, you know, great, great event. And, uh, well, and greeting from the US. So we've got folks from all over the world tuning in. Thank you for uh, this session, uh, tuning into this session. Um, Scott, you know, uh, just, just talk us through your experience when you were in the last summit. And what do you think folks who can come and uh, attend the session, what do you think they can take away from some of these uh, uh, lessons and also some of the networking and some of the, the impact that they can witness uh, at this uh, Malaysian Asia Summit that's upcoming in June 20th? So one of the most fun things to do is to put these programs together with you because it's, you know, you have so much talent. I, I, I didn't mention Jerome Joseph, who is, uh, according to the Global Gurus, number two in, in branding. Delphine Ang talks uh, about emotional wellness and how to um, how to breathe life into a world of over, overwhelm. So it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's constructing these to say, okay, how do we have a limited amount of time from nine to five? How are we going to best take advantage of this incredible amount of uh, of wisdom and then tap into the wisdom in the room? So th this this particular year is going to be more of an experience. Uh, Justin Cohen is one, one of the, the world's best facilitators. Uh, so he's going to take us through a process. So it's not just going to be listening to what do we have? 13 <laughs> amazing speakers. Um, but but then he's going to take us through this, this transformational breakthrough process to actually work with the material that we're going to be learning at that moment. So um, it's, a, it's an exciting, uh, exciting times for sure to, to come, to learn from one another, to tap into the wisdom in the room and uh, to see what the speakers have uh, put together in their short 25 or 20, 25 minutes. And, and uh, Mitchell will be our, our, our kickoff speaker. Uh, Justin will start it, as you mentioned, with uh, talking, us, t telling us a little about the breakthrough process, and then Mitchell, uh, who is, uh, will inspire us, and then we're off and running, and um, quite a day. So, 
Yep, and and you know Justin Justin Cohen um is you know he was out in Malaysia I think a couple of months ago. Um, it's quite, it's amazing seeing him in action and uh, uh, very inspiring. And I know I knew you know we had Michelle at the bounce back, which was in during the pandemic years we couldn't have a Malaysia Leadership Summit, so we organized a bounce back session where we had speakers come in virtually and and uh, Mitchell spoke and it was incredible listening to his story, listening how you you know having the resilience to be able to bounce back event after event, you know, when, when bad things keep happening and you have no control over some of these things that, that continue to hit you, uh, yet having that, that, that ability to be resilient, to be able to say, you know, to take away all the noise and be able to, to refocus back on how do you get back on a path. Um, and, and, you know, uh, we, we had, a, you know, I, I think Mitchell, another good friend of mine, Andrew, 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 uh, uh, Jamie Andrews, right. Um, and I think Scott, we met him at bounce back where he lost both hands and both legs. Um, yet, you know, having the resolute uh, uh, and the resolution to say, hey, you know, I want to get back. I want to live a life. Um, I want to be a father to my children. I want to continue to push ahead. I want to climb mountains. He was a mountaineer, but with no hands and no legs, how do you climb mountains? Uh, but he's done it and he's uh, scaled the peaks of even the Alps, which claimed his friend uh, and caused his accident. Uh, you know, his friend died uh, and, and he had to, uh, you know, he had to be amputated in all four uh, both both his arms and legs and uh, uh, all four limbs uh, were amputated. And he always tells me, Roshan, it's about um, you know figuring out one thing you want to do and then figuring out how to get there. And then once you get there, you know figuring out the next thing and then getting there and then figuring out the next thing and getting there and figuring out the next thing. And don't worry about the fact that you know it's so hard to brush your teeth, it's so hard to tie a, you know to wear a shoe. Just figure out. Okay, today I just want to do one thing. I want to figure out how to go to the toilet without hands and legs next next day and then you figure out brushing teeth then you figure out and finally you figure out how to climb mountains right um and to me i think i think what breakthrough is is about is very similar right it's about figuring out a process and where you can break through uh to success in your career breakthrough in sales breakthrough in life breakthrough in in in, in the mindset uh with chat gpt with technology with so many different things you know uh, uh currently uh so much of noise right uh, what's right? I mean, do do I use crypto or do I use Malaysian ringgit or US dollar or or, or Russian uh, currencies or renminbi? Or, I mean, it, we 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 are so confused about so many things, right? But I think it's about figuring out how to have that one breakthrough and then replicating it and scaling it and doing it over and over and again. And Scott, I think that's that's really what what this is, right? It's about personal development, it's about organizational development, but it's also about a time to come together. Um, and and celebrate humanity, celebrate uh, what together we in the world stands for, right? Uh, which is enabling us to do something good and making an impact. And what leadernomics, what Matt for Good, what uh, Matt Movement, and all these different partners that we have, right? It's about helping uh, to take one person and enabling them to be better, and then they make their communities better, and ultimately we make this world a better place, right? Um, you know, Roshan, Jenna, you, were, you started to tease us with that bounce back summit that we did, the virtual programs that we had uh, twelve. 12 incredible speakers. Uh, so what, what would you say that we gave uh, anybody that signs up today, give them access to the Bounce Back Summit? Can we do that? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. In fact, in fact, it's better than that, right? We'll be giving you, uh, if you signed up, right? Um, we, we are going to include in this summit uh, for the first time ever, right? You'll be getting all the summits uh, speakers from the last two summits, so 2022 summit and 2019, wow. you know, uh, which no no one has access to, right? So you get a tool that gives you access to all the speakers' content. You get access to uh, some 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 breakthrough new content from even speakers like Simon Sinek and and Daniel Pink and others. Uh, will will give you access to that. Uh, and I think uh, more interestingly, all the bounce back videos. So you you get to see Michelle live, but you also hear him uh, what he spoke. You get Jim Gray. We'll have a whole bunch of uh, other folks. I think uh, that were part of. Uh, uh, I, I remember the guy from Amazon, right? Uh, who was stuck in the Amazon jungle. Uh, what's his Yossi name? Ginsburg. Uh, Yossi Ginsburg. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing, right? He was stuck in the Amazon jungle for three weeks, right? Um, for 21 days, uh, and he had to eat a snake. And they made a movie. Uh, I, I think uh, Harry Potter himself uh, is acting. Daniel. Yeah, uh, Daniel. What, what's Daniel? Uh, Daniel. Uh, is, yeah, is, was is acting star. as him uh, yeah. in, in that movie. So, I mean, it's uh, some, some amazing content. All this is going to be yours. Um, attend the summit and you get free access to this for a year, right? Uh, so, so a lot of great stuff um, as as part of uh, uh, the summit. And you can just go. You wanna if you if you wanna buy more than ten tickets. Again, this is if if you're Malaysian, it's hundred percent HRD Corp claimable. So all tickets are essentially free, right? I mean, it's HRDF Corp claimable. So you you wanna buy those tickets? Just send an email to info at dynamics.com. Uh, and I'll get somebody to walk you through the process because the process for HRD Corp is slightly different. Um, otherwise, go to 
Jiren Malaysia dot org slash MLS and just buy a ticket. It's six hundred and thirty ringgit right now. Uh, much lower. It's actually six eighty. So you get a discount uh, if you buy it today. Um, and again, remember, one hundred percent of everything goes to uh, charities. I, I'm just gonna talk to uh, Andrea. Uh, I mean, your your thoughts. I mean, you were there at the summit. Um, you know, what are some thoughts that you would like to share with us as we wrap this up? Okay, I was not there the whole time. I just came in for a bit uh, with Jenna. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I did meet uh, quite a number of people who were interested to know what we were doing, especially after we uh, we had the, the little talk with uh, some of our students and those working in the Refugee Film School. And uh, uh, it was great to see uh, that people were interested and wanting to know more. Uh, about the cause that we serve here in Malaysia, uh, especially with uh, our work with refugees. So um, I did get uh, some contacts to move forward with with some programs. So it was really, uh, really uh, very exciting and very thrilling uh, to be there. And of course, uh, it was nice to really be there with Jenna. <laughs> and I think, uh, I don't know whether you're showing the video that Jenna came up uh, and showed at the summit, uh, but that... that uh, uh, actually is in a nutshell of uh, a good explanation to to tell people about our work here uh, in Malaysia. Yeah. You know, maybe we could, uh, you know, put that up on the on the site so that people can see it after this podcast and see that Malaysians sure. are... Sure. No, I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm... Yeah. Yeah, yeah Jenna, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm going to... Give, give me a minute or two. I'm trying to get it up. But in the meantime, Jenna, go ahead and uh, tell us a bit more about... Uh, about the, yeah. the, the, the things. For the past in, four yeah, years, ahead. for the past four years, I have been uh, volunteering with Malaysia Social Research Institute, which was, which is MSRI, which was started to help refugees in Lebanon, refugees in Palestine. It was uh, Malaysians reaching out to other refugees who needed help, other Muslims in other parts of the world who needed help badly. And that's how it started. And I admire Malaysia so much because Malaysia gives, um, gives asylum to people who are escaping, who are fleeing war-torn countries. Malaysia gives asylum. And so what we're doing, it helps us give education so that we don't have children growing up without an education in Malaysia so that they can be contributing members of society, not just in Malaysia, but whatever, wherever they get placed. We all care about that. This gives us a way to, gives people a way to learn every day, bring that to their business, bring that to their employees so that everybody gets the same ideas from that same day of training. And then the, the proceeds go to do good in Malaysia. Yeah. Just to, Thanks. Um, to yeah, add, on, add on to that, if I may. So the way that we split the, and this is this is the, uh, the the largest amount of money that we raise from any of our leadership conferences, thanks to Leadernomics. So Leadernomics takes 50% for their Malaysian charities. They're involved in a, in a lot of great causes. Yes. Um, and so Roshan's team donates all of their time and then takes their 50% for their Malaysian causes. We take our 50% and because there's so much need at, uh, at MSRI, all of our money goes to that one cause in Malaysia. And so it, it's so nice to see the, in fact, we're, we're, yep. we're talking to one of, one of the best events I think that we do with MSRI is dinner with a refugee night where we get invited into the homes of the, of the refugees and they make their authentic uh, meals from their country and we get a chance just to break bread and learn about their experiences. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a lovely slice of humanity. And so, um, yep. so it, it's just been a, just so touching to the heart and all of Jana's work. Jana hasn't told you that she started what's called refugee film school at MSRI. Um, and she's become a mother pretty much to the 12 kids and has moved to Malaysia to take care of these kids and to, and to further this, the cause of the uh, refugee film school and MSRI. So it's a, it really is a love affair and we're, and we're honored that, that Roshan, we can work with you and raise this yeah. kind of money for such a great yep. cause. Thank you. So let's just have a quick, quick, quick preview of uh, the video with uh, MSRI and then uh, we'll wrap up in a bit. I'm on my mat for good. I'm on my mat for good. 
What do you know about refugee students in Malaysia? Hi, I'm Khujista, 14 years old from Afghanistan. Hi, I'm Farhan, 15 years old from Pakistan. Here are top three frequently asked questions. What is the difference between a migrant worker and a refugee? A migrant worker came to Malaysia looking for a better job. Refugee families escape their country due to war or political violence. When we get here, we register to the United Nations Refugee Agency so we can be resettled to another country, which can take a long time, sometimes up more than a decade. Does Malaysia give refugees money, housing, health care, or schools? No. Malaysia gives us asylum so that our families can stay in a safe place which we appreciate. Refugees pay for our own rent, food, and education while we are waiting to be relocated, which can take up to 10 or 15 years. Refugees aren't allowed to take a job from local taxpayers because taxpayers pay for schools, government, and hospitals. That's also why refugee children cannot go to government schools. Is it true that there are 50,000 refugee children in Malaysia and that most of them are growing up with no education at all? Yes. That's where Malaysia Social Research Institute comes in and where you can help too. MSRI has a refugee school with refugees. I think uh, the video may not have been downloaded. <laughs> well, but I mean, I think, I think it, 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 uh, it, it shares the point uh, quite profoundly um, what, what, uh, what the impact that MSRI and a number of refugee schools, um, you know, I, I, I know Fuji and, and Heidi Kwa and all the different folks that are involved in the refugee work, uh, the fantastic and the tireless work, right, Andrew? Uh, I mean, it is tireless. Uh, it is uh, uh, sacrificial. It's uh, very painful sometimes um, and uh, full of... Uh, Full of uh, very interesting days, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if, we, if we nail Andrea down, I'm sure we'll get a lot of uh, fascinating stories from her. So, so with that, you know, we're going to wrap uh, wrap the session up uh, at this point in time. We're just going to go around uh, a little bit and uh, just get final thoughts from uh, maybe starting with Jenna, um, your final thoughts and your encouragement to folks that are considering uh, the Malaysia Leadership Summit or even, um, you know, helping out at MSRI and many of the other Malaysian charities. Uh, your thoughts, Jenna? Well, I want to I want to thank you, Roshan, and everyone at Leaderonomics for creating this event and for creating a thing called Mad for Good, making a difference, making a difference for good. So this is a place. This this summit is a way for people to make a difference in their thinking, in their mindset, in their business, with their employees, as we make a difference in the world. So thank you to Leaderonomics for creating this opportunity for amazing leaders to come together. Fantastic, Andrea. Yes, uh, uh, I'm. I'm pretty much going to say the same thing. Thank you all for all that you do. Because uh, if not for you guys, we won't be here today. And the uh, the refugee students, I mean, uh, they will not have what they have today. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the speakers at uh, in MSRI in June. Yep, and some fantastic speakers. And also, you know, we, we are very thankful to our partners like Maybank. Um, who partners us every year and SP Satya, uh, amazing. You know, we've got Nadia this year, uh, a senior leader at SP Satya, will be joining our, our summit. Um, and, and the team, I mean, the entire team at SP Satya, Francis and the whole gang will help us pull the whole summit together. Uh, so, a lot, a big thank you to uh, our two big critical partners uh, yearly uh, at uh, Maybag and, and SP Satya. So, Scott, your final thoughts before we wrap this up with a uh, Matt for Good Song. How about that? <laughs> I don't think you're going to get any better education for a day for the price. It's HRDF claimable. So you're going to get in. It's like going to be drinking from a fire hose. And Justin's going to take us through this breakthrough process. And it's all for a great cause. Fabulous. So with that, you know, check it out. You know, you can go to jlnmalaysia.org slash MLS 23. Pick up your tickets. If you need more information uh, or you need to buy more than 10 tickets uh, or, or you need HRDF claimable, just send an email to info at leadernomics.com. And remember, the Malaysia Leadership Summit is uh, where 100% of all proceeds are given to charity. So with that, uh, we'll wrap up with what we call our mad song, uh, which is a song written by Janice Stanfield for all of us who are mad. And mad stands for making a difference. So let's go out there uh, this holiday. Uh, Labor Day and for the rest of the year, let's go out there and make an impact. The little impacts that we make uh, ripple and become major uh, as, as, uh, as, as it always happens, right? So do little things and see major great things happen in your life. So with that, Matt for good. Good.
Have a great time, everyone. Have a great week ahead, and hope to see each of every one of you at the Malaysia Leadership Summit on June twentieth.